Hi, Clint Kuhn's here with Anderson Business Advisors. And in this video, we're gonna discuss who should be the trustee of your land trust. All right, when it comes to choosing a trustee of a land trust, you have a couple of different options. You can be your own trustee of your own trust. Now, what does that mean from an asset protection standpoint? Not really anything, because the land trust, as you recall, with the exception of the state of Florida, do not offer any asset protection. Okay, it's purely a title holding vehicle. Now, one of the reasons why we use this title holding vehicle, one of the benefits of using it is that it can offer anonymity. But the problem is if you're your own name is serving, if you're listed there as trustee, then you're gonna lose that anonymity. That is, you're gonna transfer the property out of your name, and you're gonna transfer it into a trust in the care of a trustee. So if I had this property set up here, it was held in Clint's name, all right, then I deed it over into my trust. Let's call this the 33rd trust, uh, and I'm the trustee. Title would look as follows, Clint as trustee of the 33rd trust. Okay. Now, somebody does a title search on this property. Clint's in the chain of title. Clint's in the, listed as current owner of the property. That's no good. I didn't get any anonymity there. So if you want anonymity, what can you do? Well, you could do this. You could replace Clint with someone else. All right. So maybe I use uh, Toby, my partner, as my land trust trustee. So now I'm going to deed it over to Toby. And you might be thinking, wow, Clint, you must really trust your partner to transfer your property into his name. Well, keep in mind, I'm not so concerned about that because number one, Toby can't do anything with that property because in a land trust, the beneficiaries are the ones that control it and I'm the beneficiary. If it did bother me, I could fire him like that, but that's not a concern because I've already set it up with Toby that after we deed the property to him as a trustee, he's gonna step down, he's gonna resign his position. So on the deed it shows Toby, but as soon as he resigns, the real trustee is gonna be Clint down here. So I'm gonna step in. But the public's not gonna be aware of this. It's still gonna show under Toby's name, even though I'm the acting trustee at that point in time. So that's how we get anonymity. Hey, if you like what you're seeing here on my YouTube channel and you wanna go deeper and you wanna learn more, just to let you know, we teach three-day asset protection workshops all over the country. In these workshops, we go really deep into all these topics and show you how to set this up. And more importantly, we meet with everyone one-on-one -on -one to help them design a plan. This is your opportunity. If you're interested in attending one of our workshops, go right into the show notes now, and you can see a link there where you can register for one of my upcoming three-day tax and asset protection workshops for real estate investors. Originally I owned it, now it shows up as Toby as trustee of this trust. People do not know who the beneficiaries are because a trust is not a recorded document. Now that's great, but the problem with that strategy is that when you wanna sell the property, you gotta remove Toby from the, um, from the counter recorder as being listed on there as the current trustee because it's gonna gum up the works when you try to sell it because title is gonna ask for where's Toby? And you're gonna say, well, he resigned and I'm the true trustee. Well, that's not what title shows. Title still shows, shows Toby. So what you're gonna have to do then is file a trustee's deed. Trustee's deed, and you always gotta get this. If ever you go through this route using a Toby, you gotta get a trustee deed from a Toby. So that points you as a trustee and you just hold on to that until you're ready to refinance or sell the property, then you record it. And once you record that deed, then everyone in the world is gonna know Toby's no longer involved, but Clint's involved. And so you're gonna end up dropping that anonymity when you record that deed. But you have to, if you wanna sell the property or you wanna refi the property, they gotta see you on there because you're the one going in and you're dealing with it. They don't know who Toby is. They're gonna want Toby if your name's not on there. So that's another option. Now this does you know, create problems for people because they forget to do this and they start the ball rolling only to hit a snag three weeks before closing. And they say, oh, we can't do anything with this because Toby's not around. And then you gotta ask for an extension and, and get moving filing these trustees deeds. So another option for you, if you don't use a nominee trustee or you don't trust anyone, one of the ones that I like to use now is a Wyoming trust, a Wyoming LLC. Set up a Wyoming limited liability company of which you're the manager and you're the member. 
and manager. Now, the Wyoming LLC doesn't need a bank account, doesn't need an EIN number, it's just a disregarded entity, you're in control of it. You make this entity the trustee of your trust. So let's say I set up this entity and it's um, Big Mountain LLC. So then what I'll have when I set up my, my trust, I'll have Big Mountain LLC trustee of the 33rd trust, just like that. Okay, who's in control of this? You are. So now you are in this position. You don't have to use a Toby. You're controlling it through this one trust, and if you do, or this one LLC. And if you have other trusts, it would serve as a trustee of all the trusts you create. Now, when it comes time to sell the property, you don't need to change out Toby to Clint because they're going to contact the, the escrow uh, title. That is, it's going to want to know, all right, who's in charge of this limited liability company? Well, you are because you're the manager and you're the owner of that LLC. So you're the one that's authorized to sign on all the documents that they're gonna require in order to sell this property to go to closing with it. So you eliminate the necessity to have to file a trustee's deed. You keep the privacy by having the Wyoming LLC there because if somebody looks up the Wyoming LLC, they're not gonna see your name. So now you can dispense with this stuff that goes on over here just take control, keep it in your own company. Now this Wyoming LLC, this should be a new LLC that you create, it should not engage in any other business. Its sole job is to be the trustee of your land trust. Great little technique, way to set it up and stay in control without having to use a third party, makes things run a lot smoother. My name is Clint Coons with Anderson Business Advisors.